I've been cargo going out for four months. I've had a couple of slip ups in between that. I cut myself a break. They were almost necessary slip ups for me personally, because I needed to realize that this diet that I'm on benefits me so much compared to any other way of eating before. So slipping up was actually a good thing in my case because it made me realize why I'm eating this certain way. My backache is completely fixed from this way of eating. I used to suffer from really bad backache for years. It was almost, I don't want to say it was debilitating. I mean, I wasn't in a wheelchair or anything like that. It was definitely very painful and it was something that I had to deal with all the time and it prevented me from doing a lot of things that I really wanted to do. Sports, social activities that I didn't want to partake in because I didn't think that I could keep up like a hike, snorkeling, giving some random examples, but some of these things actually happened. My backache is completely healed and I don't have to deal with the soreness and the burning feeling that my back had and the fear that my back was always going to be like that and I would have to get surgery one day in order to fix it or that I have to like pay hundreds of dollars in chiropractor or in massages, whatever remedy I was told would heal it. So ever since I started carnivore, I realized like cutting out all that processed food especially, but the carbohydrates and the sugar has definitely helped tremendously with my inflammation in my back. And that's why my back feels 100% different than what it used to. So if you suffer from backache, I'd say give this diet a try because it has helped me and I tried everything under the sun before this. Everything would just kind of give me like temporary relief, but this is the only thing that is giving me 100% recovery where I don't even need to stretch or overstretch or need to see a professional chiropractor or masseuse in order to like feel better. So that's definitely something that's amazing, the turnaround from it. And I recommend it to anybody that suffers from what they think is an endless back pain. The second thing that's happened to me, which I talked about in other videos, just to give you a little bit of a backstory, I'm 40, so I started taking TRT. I was recommended by a doctor because I had low testosterone. And the reason I had low testosterone, I think it's because I was vegan for a long time. So I was definitely missing like the, the essential nutrition that I needed when I was on a vegan diet for about five years, roughly. And I know some of you vegans are going to watch this, maybe, possibly not. I really don't care, but you're going to say that I was never vegan. I was plant-based, whatever, same difference. I get it. I used to say the same thing to other people. So yeah, that's, um, anyway, that's enough of that. But my testosterone was super low. So I started in October of 2022 taking TRT. I was going to a doctor and getting shots weekly, 0.7 milliliters of TRT injections. This was in California where I lived for a little stint. And then I moved to Florida and I saw another doctor and they right away got me back onto the TRT. But this time it was uh, going to the pharmacy and buying the one milliliter and 10 milliliter bottles and having to administer the TRT myself injection wise. I did that for a while and I saw a lot of benefits at first. Like I saw muscle gain again, but then I started to see myself like kind of putting on weight, putting on water weight, especially my, my cheeks would get like really chubby and I would look at myself sideways and I would see like almost like if, as if I was like pregnant. Started doing a lot of YouTube video searches. I came across a channel where he talked about it being on a TRT and then switching over to a carnivore diet and that helping him to produce like his own natural testosterone again. So I decided to like give it a try myself. And ever since I have started eating this way and I, that October of 2023 was uh, the last time I took testosterone, which was about six, almost seven months now since we're in May, eight months, I guess if I'm doing the math right, somewhere around that, right? Seven, eight months. The first couple months was kind of hellish because it was hard to go to the gym. It was hard to stay motivated. It was hard to like build muscle. It was hard to like lift. It was hard to lift weights because I was off of the TRT and I didn't have like any natural testosterone being produced in my own body. So there was a period in those few months where I was weak. Lately, I haven't gotten any blood tests. They are fairly expensive, but I think I should get one. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't, we'll see. But I have noticed lately my workouts in the gym, I'm going at least three times a week, um, but mostly four times a week with like a two day break since 
Um, I have a lot of other stuff going on between like work, the, this channel and uh, another channel that I have on Instagram and creating content and whatnot. It takes a, you know, it takes a lot of time between editing and all that. Yeah. My workouts now, um, they're just as good as they used to be when I was on the TRT. I'm lifting, if not like the same amount of weight, I'm lifting close to the same amount of weight that I was when I was doing the TRT, when I had a lot of testosterone body. So I feel like the testosterone has improved drastically in my body. I think I'm kind of back on track. Benefit wise, like my body shape is complete, is changing. I see a lot more like muscles coming through. I see my body just like shaping up differently. It just looks different. I feel a lot better. I haven't lost uh, much weight, but I also haven't gained weight. And I've been eating a lot of steak, a lot of fat, a lot of different cuts of meat. Since I'm, I'm a chef, I, I play around with a lot of different parts of the animals from parts that you have to braise for a long time, cook quickly, different organs. You know, I haven't put on weight, which is which I'm happy about, but I haven't lost any weight, which is whatever at this point. I'm really not that upset about it because I feel better. I feel stronger. I feel healthier. I feel like I look better too. I feel like my face is like less inflated than what it used to be and the overall like shape of my body is changing my composition is changing my mood is changing it's getting better my depression has like completely disappeared if i eat bread like i'm eating bread right i'm not just like oh let me just let me cheat with like a crumb of bread let's like no let me have the whole loaf so then like right after i do that i'll feel really depressed i'll feel really down i'll feel really unmotivated and it all could be a psychological thing, but I do feel different. Like it feels like I just got over like a hangover or I was like partying down in club space in Miami for too long. And the next day I'm completely drained. I had this uh, mindset, like I almost just did a lot of hardcore drugs the night before. And then the next day completely drained of all your dopamine. That's what I noticed when I eat something that's not aligned with the carnivore diet. And once again, as I mentioned, like I'm kind of happy that I did those things. I don't regret it. Um, do I wish that I could be more perfect? Yeah, absolutely. My wife tells me all the time, you need a journal every time like you eat something that's not carnivore so you can remember what you felt like when you did eat those things. I don't. Sometimes I do, but mostly I don't. And then I forget that like rice causes inflammation, bread causes depression, ice cream causes other bad habits to come back. It's good to have a food journal if you have one to like write down every time like you slipped up how you felt the next day. So that way, if you're going to be repeating those things, you can actually have some tools to stop yourself from doing it. Four months into this journey now, I started February 15th. It's around May 15th today, roughly. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's May 17th, 18th. It's May 18th today. I'm a little bit over February, March, April, May. About four months on this journey with a couple of slip ups. I don't care. I still consider myself carnivore because as Dr. Bart K says, as long as you're 70% carnivore, like you're still carnivore. I take that with a grain of salt. I don't cheat all the time because I know of that rule. I'm not that hard on myself as I used to be. And you can't be, you know, just get back on the wagon and just continue to do what you were doing. And especially if it's benefiting you, continue to do that thing, go harder in the paint and see if you can get like more challenging, switch things up, more ruminant animals, maybe less dairy, you know, try, try different things out. It's not going to be like you find carnivore and yeah, of course it's a percentage that like finds the right diet on the, you know, the first day. But I think a lot of us have to test the waters out on different products to see if they cause us any harm or positive benefit. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. I got a lot more cooking videos coming through. All my shorts are pretty much all cooking videos, but I'll start doing some more long form because I love cooking. I'm a chef, so it's kind of like in my, it's in my blood. You know, it's my, my chef knife and steel. This is my trademark right here. Anyway, guys, God bless you all and peace out.